Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over negative reciprocals. What are they? How do you find them? Well, let's say you have some fraction a over b. If you don't have a fraction, you have an integer, let's just call it c over one. You can put it over one and it will remain unchanged. Putting it over one doesn't change anything. So to find the negative reciprocal of either of these numbers, all you have to do is take the denominator, put it over the numerator, so that's b over a or one over c, and then just make the numerator negative. If the denominator was already negative or the numerator was already negative, then the whole thing is just gonna become positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So this and this are both negative reciprocals of this and this respectively. Now let's look at some specific examples real quick. Let's say we have negative two over three. To find the negative reciprocal, first we just take the reciprocal, which is three over negative two. Then we throw a negative in front of the numerator, but now we've got a negative divided by a negative, so we can just make that a positive three halves. That is our negative reciprocal uh, of negative two thirds. If we look at another example, let's look at four. Well, we'll put that over one, flip A and B around, so we have one over four, make the numerator negative. Negative one fourth is the negative reciprocal of four over one. If you have a negative in the denominator. We'll do an example of that even though you don't see that very often because it's kind of an irregular way to write fractions. Let's say we have six over negative seven. All you have to do is flip the numerator in the de denominator like before, negative seven over six. You multiply the numerator by a negative just like we have these last two times, but that's gonna be a negative times a negative which is gonna make it a positive and it's gonna leave us with seven sixths as the negative reciprocal of six over negative seven. So I hope this video helped you understand what negative reciprocals are and how to find them. Also a quick note, perfect perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So if you take some line that has a slope, we'll say m equals two, then any line perpendicular to the line with this slope would have a slope, let's call it m sub one, of negative one half because negative one half is a neg negative reciprocal of two and perpendicular lines, like I said, have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, you need anything clarified or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the Swankiest Math videos on the internet. All the way up here, dear Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases all